Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Traffic. So, <laughs> good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm staying now here um, near Salzfrauen, a few keys away. Slept. Hmm. Yeah, quite well. Doesn't matter. But today it's. Yeah, now it's still raining, a little bit drizzling. But the weather forecast says it should be fine during the day. So the plan for today is to reach Jektvik and after this, uh, Jötta. Hmm. So the navigation uh, offers several <laughs> distances and times. But already in Sweden, I noticed that there is something wrong with uh, the navigation on Snowball, on Tesla. Um, you remember when we were in the Wildmarksvägen, uh, I would get to Moirana in Norway with minus 6%. When we plugged in the first uh, charging station, it jumped to 26% right then. This behavior I noticed several times, but now when I set the navigation to Jetta, it would be uh, seven hours. It's impossible for 300 kilometers. It's, uh, and even Jektvik uh, would take five hours for 150 kilometers or 250 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's correct or it's not. So we will see. Yeah, I hope I can show you um, some interesting sites along the coastline because we are using this road and maybe also a reason for the long time. I don't know uh, the condition of these roads, but anyway, it should be the more interesting way to get south. Okay, for that, let us hit road before my traffic arrives. Yeah, I checked the navigation again. Uh, it says uh, two hours, 58 minutes to Jekvik, not five. So sometimes uh, you have to check it twice before you get the right uh, information. I'm not sure about why. Maybe I've noticed similar issues with the navigation on Tesla. Yeah, uh, please leave me a message down in the comments. I would be glad. Yeah. It's not possible. One ton on the bridge. Yeah, uh, the reason why I slept not that well in last night was <laughs> on the spot where I parked, the angle was uh, slightly up, a little bit up. And this angle added up to the angle where my mattress, or the, the, the backrest is, my seat. So I slipped every time I slipped down <laughs> to the uh, trunk, in the trunk, and I have to pull me up every time, it uh, wasn't that great. Uh, the night before, as you saw, I stand on an opposite angle, because when the front is down, that was perfect. That was perfect uh, uh, position.
snowball is loaded with 80%. Yeah. So continue your ride to Jektvik. So we left the ferry half an hour to Jekvik. There waits another ferry. gonna cry when you're gone Where will you so, go? Won't you miss the mix one you know I'll be here Mirror. hanging on waiting for your call Seems like time as a wave passing by leave a mark in our mind River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you're gone. So I told you um, that we need five hours to get to Maskun. But now after the ferry, it's only two and a half hours. So this should be possible. And the sun would always shine when we sat there, you and I. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, gone. Kind of landscape. <laughs> this is curious. No more big mountains, soft hills, green weeds, trees, and woods. Something else. Yeah, 
finally we got some sunshine. Oh, nice. Well, we are now in Moskun to charge Snowball a little bit. Um, from here we head back to the coast. In the last um, few kilometers we were on the main road and this wasn't that interesting, but it was the shortest way to get here. <coughs> now we are getting this. Here's the hotel. Hotel's hotel. So. so now we are charged up to 78% and heading now to a little town, Berg. Uh, it's on the coast. This will take us um, two hours, two and a half hours. It's 162 kilometers away from here. I don't think I will get there uh, today, but we are going in this direction. Maybe we will find a restaurant where I could have dinner and then searching for a place for the night. I got dinner, uh, it was quite good, and we are now at nearly 7 p.m. We are heading now to the coast, as I said. Mm, it takes us nearly two hours, I don't know. Ah, I repeat myself, I don't know if we get there, if we'll get there, but anyway, Let's start and try it. Have a look over the nice, beautiful countryside. Uh, uh. That is one town on our way and then we have to go only 80 kilometers to our destination, the town park.
Wow. Wow, that's a view. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. Oh boy, what a day. What a day, what a day. Unbelievable. So guys, I at least I found a place. We are already at nine o'clock. <laughs> uh, the whole day riding was awesome. I didn't expect that. <laughs> so when we left Salstrom. The scenery and the landscapes, they were amazing. Several different kind of nature of uh, everything you can imagine. Woods, stones, rocks, mountains, fjords, see, lakes, rapids. We saw everything. So, <laughs> so and uh, yeah. I was a bit excited about uh, to see what is uh, behind the next bend. And I keep on riding all the time. <laughs> so, but it was pure fun for me. Yeah, and then I saw my first elk. <laughs> I didn't expect it either. So um, he crossed the the road from left to right, like they do. Uh, but I was scared to death. I go on the brakes, and um, but I didn't record it. So <laughs> you have only my word. But it was great. And now I'm here uh, near for Berg, uh, Venison. Venison is uh, the port where we uh, get the next ferry tomorrow. Um, you know, it's a nice place you, near the road again. Maybe not quite, uh, uh, not very quiet. I don't know. So you see behind me the big mountains and there is a snowball. So yeah, I think that's it for today. So please, yeah, thumbs up. Subscribe below. <laughs> and I'm sure we see us in the next video. So good night.